Actually, the preliminary turnout results say that the 60% of the population in Veneto region voted for yes. We are still waiting for the results of two provinces. And about Lombardy, the turnout said that 40% are voting for, for the autonomy and maybe we will reach the 50%. But basically, the results are different because Veneto region has the quorum, so means that the governor could ask to the central government a better deal, a better financial arrangement with Rome, which is exactly what the two uh, richest regions of, of Italy are demanding to the central government. So is it that financial incentive? Can we talk a little bit more about why people, some people in these regions want greater autonomy? What, what really is driving this? Uh, yes, basically the two regions are the richest, as you said before, so the better financial agreement means that people, and especially the governors, they want the, the percent of the ta taxes back to the region, so to develop better the public services. The demands to the, um, the government of Rome are also accompanied by um, um, some remarks about the wasting of taxes uh, from the central government to Rome to the south, which is very poor comparing to the north, and also um, all this voting of today is opening like a Pandora box. We need to know that um, it's opening a kind of old north-south divide feeling, which is something very old in Italy and is coming up again uh, due also to the uh, migration uh, issues. And so what happens from here? I mean, the referendum was non-binding. So, so what are the next steps? The next step will be uh, an agreement uh, between the governor of Venice and of Veneto to Rome, and they need to agree about the financial agenda uh, among this region and the central government. Uh, and this is the first concrete um, step. But the second one, and this is our provision, Janice, could be the maybe also the South the people from the south that wish to have a greater autonomy, um, not in terms of financial agreement because they need the money they're coming from the north, but also in terms of culture. Um, the, these two northern regions, they are really uh, very um, strongly against the, the idea to divide and uh, all, all the financial um, um, of Italy to all the regions and they want to keep from themselves. But the south, for example, is more open to migration, so um, maybe we can uh, we can see something like that. The South will push also for a kind of referendum. So we will see what's going on in the future. Thanks so much. That's journalist Laura Silvia Battaglia.